Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. So I haven't done a Hitman video in a very long time. And I've seen a lot of your comments and a lot of you guys have actually requested that I actually do an elusive target. Uh, this elusive target actually disappears in three hours from now. So we're going to be doing it. And this is a target that's come back. I've never done this target, but I know that now he has an eye patch. And apparently this guy never dies. Um, and this is also, pl uh, he's played by Sean Bean, the famous British actor. But let's watch the, um, uh, let's watch the intro here. Hope you guys like the Hitman cosplay also. This one might ring a bell, 47. Your target is Mark Faber, also known as the Undying. A disgraced former MI5 operative currently working as a freelance assassin, Faber has been confirmed killed by ICA agents more than a dozen times. On every occasion, he has managed to come back from the dead. We have confirmation that Faber has a meeting in the Miami Bayside Center to review details on a new target. An informant at the site has provided us with reliable intel on Faber's expected movement around the center. This information has revealed several viable approaches. As you know, our inside man is meeting with the target. Acquire the right disguise and he'll get you inside the heart of the building. Up close and personal is risky, but favors the clean kill. Alternatively, smuggle in a sniper rifle via briefcase. The race tower is a perfect vantage point, but access is restricted. Race security is high. Get through the locked door and time your shot perfectly. Or infiltrate through the staff entrance at the back of the building. Access the second floor using the elevator shaft. Move unseen inside the weapons demo room and infiltrate as you see fit. Act once an opportunity presents itself. Or rig the room to your advantage and leave unseen. Be mindful, however. The repercussions of being exposed here would be severe. I'm confident even more opportunities will reveal themselves once you arrive on site. 47, I feel I'm repeating myself a little bit here, but please make sure he doesn't come back again. Good luck. So he just doesn't die. One chance, you cannot replay an elusive target. One death, you die during an elusive target, that's it. One window, you have limited time to complete the contract. Yep, we gotta get him before he gets out, okay. Okay, let's read this here. Mark Fabo was always a strange kid, born to a firefighting father with a serious alcohol problem and an overworked mother, working two jobs as a secretary in the iron and steel industry. Mark was left to his own devices from an early age. He spent his formative years living in his parents' basement deeply and embedded himself in the world of hobby electronics, phone um, uh, breaking, and eventually computer hacking. At 18, he found his calling as part of his underground um, computer hacking scene and sought to make himself um, a name by performing spectacular pen penetrations into corporate systems. After serious hacks against the government, Fabe was arrested by MI5 and placed in custody. Here he was given a uh, non-choice, own his skills with the Secret Service and work for England or face years of in incarceration. Faba uh, spent two decades at MI5. He became an expert at demolitions and marksmanship. He learned infiltration techniques and grew his expertise in espionage, working um, for years on domestic surveillance uh, projects aimed at journalists, politicians, um, uh, corp corporate um, heads, and me members of the upper class. The stress and nature of his work got to Faba. One day, uh, everything collapsed. So MI5, um, that is kind of like the... Um, that is that is a secret British agency. I guess it's um, there's also MI6. I know that uh, it's. I guess you you could kind of say it's like a um, uh, like the British version of the CIA in a way. While on a mission to install surveillance equipment in the hotel suite of a visiting foreign diplomat, Faba was discovered. A struggle ensured, and Faba ended up killing his intended surveillance target. Desperate and fearful what might happen, Faba worked through um, the night to fake the circumstances around the man's death. Unfortunately, forensic experts at MI5 uh, soon suspected foul play as the evidence mounted. Faba felt the ground burn beneath him. In his desperation, he turned to an old bounty hunter connection, and with their aid, Mark Faba disappeared from the world and was eventually presumed dead by his own hand. Five years later, MI6 discovered um, a connection between one of their agents who had been assassinated a year prior and Mark Faber. Investigating the, the lead further proved um, vague. Indica indications that Faber was alive was working as an assassin in various conflict zones around the world. An ICA um, contract was issued on Faber, requesting that he be terminated. The ICA um, uh, sent one of their agents and eliminated Faber while on a mission in Somalia. However, Faber re reappeared in Kosovo a few months later and so began one of the most enigmatic 
diplomatic um, cases in ICA history. From that initial contract until present day, the ICA has confirmed the death of Faber more than 20 times, and somehow he keeps reappearing. Faber has been given the nickname The Undying, and has proven to be unerasable um, embarrassment for the ICA. Okay. Let's do it here. Let's look at our gear here. Um, the emetic poison too. Okay. Let's do it. Let's get this guy. Okay. One chance. I'm gonna eliminate him. Good afternoon, Fortis. Your target is already inside the Miami Bayside Center. Faber has a full day of meetings planned, and we do not want to risk losing him. Take your time with this one. Dave Reddy, okay. our informant, is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. What you do from then on is up to you. Be mindful, though. He will not wait around for long. Sir, sir, you shouldn't be here. You shouldn't be any- Hey, man, ah! Okay, yep. I'm gonna grab him from behind, but it's... Okay, we're dressed as a Kronstadt engineer, so now we should be able to just get up right up on the top floor. Hey, hurry up, buddy. We're running real late here, all right? You must be Dave Reddy. Ah, yes. You're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I am. Okay, so like I told your superiors, I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. What you do from there is up to you. Got it? Just how I like it. All right. That outfit looks appropriate. Now let's go. They're expecting us upstairs. This guy's with Hello, me. Sir. Okay, so I'm not so, gonna get frisked. This deal is closed when we enter the room, all right? I get you in, that's all. And then your people take care of my problem. Don't worry. We'll fulfill our end of the bargain. Solid. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking, honestly. Getting involved with people like the Marinos, it, it, it was stupid. I thought I could make some quick cash, you know? Buy that yacht, sail a couple of babes to the Caribbean for the summer. Stupid. The Marino cartel is the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere. You don't try to cheat those kind of people. I wish I'd met you a little earlier, buddy. Could have used that advice six months ago, you know? Anyway, we're almost there, so uh, let's put on our game faces. Yeah, hey, bro. I'm... That is Mark Faber. Possibly oh, the most elusive are. man in the I history of the RCA. Different. I'm Mark Faber. Mr. Faber! What an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Dave Reddy, Special Acquisitions Gatekeeper, working with you on this job. <laughs> I'd show you my break book, but I'm sure you've already heard about me. Can't say that I have. Oh, uh, I see. Before we begin, I just wanted to tell you that I've read up on your file. Oh, man, very impressive. It's all about enjoying what you do. Couldn't agree more, my friend. I've prepped an extensive briefing to help us sync up on the subject that needs to be, uh, <laughs> consulted with. I think it'll provide you with a full 360. Good. Let's proceed. Hey, a lot of problem, guards. Mark. Not a problem at all. All right. Well, let's grab a seat and get this show on the road. Okay, so the consultation is with a man called Pavel Sukov, a relative of your boss's former partner. Ken Bohr. 
For the last six months, Zukov has been dishing out malicious rumors about my good friend Bob Knox. Did some digging, and it turns out he's publishing a book about the secret beginning of Kronstadt Industries. <laughs> Completely ridiculous effort. But the rumors are putting a hard stop on the growth of our stock. He's been putting out some very quotable things in the media lately. So, Knox is looking to protect the bottom line. This Sukov fellow, he's enjoying the limelight. There was a press conference a week ago, yeah? Ha! Huh. You've really done your homework. You're right. He's showering in media attention. Is that going to be a problem? On the contrary, I prefer public consultations. Nowhere better to hide than in the middle of a spectacle. Well, then this is your bluebird, my friend. You know what? Let's try a small exercise. You, suppose you were sent to kill me. We're in this meeting together. You're sitting there in the chair, waiting for your moment. How would you kill me? What's the plan? Um. Ledge. Get your knife. I say the cup of coffee. You've been drinking quite a lot of coffee. Yes. Fast-acting poison. Emetic. About five seconds from ingestion to reaction. Follow you to the bathroom. Drown you. Terrible accident. Gruesome. But I survived worse than that. What else? Hmm. Cause a small distraction. Lure you out onto the balcony and throw you over the railing to your death below. You look strong enough, but there are bushes down there. They break the fall. Might walk away without a single broken bone. Final bid? Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. You'd be dead before you hit the floor. <laughs> That's more like it. But very risky. You'd have a hard time escaping the room. But I would love to see you try that. Ironic. I think I'll just head over to that new fella and have a look at the equipment. I'll come back. Knife me. Right by her. She's reviewed the plans. It's very public. The target is public. I want a big audience for this one. Hire extras as props, telling them it's for a TV show. Add cameras for effect. Getting their assassin in place is all down to social engineering. And that's my headache, not yours. Just make sure the replacement cadaver is where I indicated, all right? Once Sukov's gone up in smoke, I'll reveal myself to the These guards, we're gonna have to deal with them both. And he'll take his shot once upstairs. That's your cue. Good. I've got a ton of things to prepare at my end today. Seems like you're not clear. I'll talk to you later. Sorry. You must be Mark Faber. I wish I could say I knew all about you, but Dave's been uncharacteristically secretive. You work in weapons development too? More on the practical application side of things, if you understand. Oh, uh, uh, of course. V very nice. Well, um, I looked at the diagrams you sent. I haven't had that much time to work on the prototypes, but I, I do have something early to show you. Lovely. Let's have a look. So, the designs were interesting. Oh, did, did you do them yourself, I wonder? Ah, so that explains the so traditional nature of the work. I like things to be good. You could say that. Spectacle. Bad, you okay? Part of my signature. Very interesting, Mr. Faber. Right, let's have a look at this. You need it to... Oh, strange. Yeah, it's all come back. Ugh. Don't like the sound of that. Right. Sorry, sir. I can't let you through here. Please move on. Alan. Take that in case it gets this side gets ugly. Okay.
far in here as possible. Don't want the cameras to see this. I specifically requested an explosive. There are enough security to be up to part of the map's course. Well, uh, coming by a volatile compound that would be able to achieve that is extremely hard. A distilled sample of Mr. Knox's nitro booster didn't even come close. Frankly, of course, that's the whole point. There isn't much spectacle in waiting for the man to accidentally stab himself in the eye with your ridiculous boron nitrate pen on live television, is there? I, uh, oh, I suppose not. Disappointing. Well, done is done. I suppose I'll have to try to figure out how to use this thing now. Can picture we can make the android attack him. I think I want to kill him with the pen, though. So, this is Robert Knox's new brainchild. Chilly. Not really see it replacing humans for a long time, but I'll say I admire his showmanship. But you, my friend, lack what all machines lack spontaneity, the ability to think freely on your feet, and Perhaps more important than anything, the ability to feel fear, whether we like it or not. The fear of death is what drives us, makes us human. Once we lose that, well, we're nothing more than empty shells drifting through life, waiting to finally be discarded. Palace is top of the line, Mr. Faber. The most advanced robotic system in the world. The AI is world class, too. Yeah, Mr. Knox is designed this to make us all jobless in 20 years. Yeah, I saw his tour come artificial intelligence last year. I'm more of a flesh and blood kind of guy than he is, I think. But we could all become indestructible. I certainly hope not. We'd all be up to the job then. I'll have a look. Stay here. Have a cigarette or something. Hmm. Bomb. Actually have to be that powerful. But it is extremely important that the explosive elements in the this direction, which will be blocked. This isn't exactly a discrete container. But I suppose if we add balloons to the event, spray paint this to look like a helium canister, then we can make this work. The most ingenious thing about the active ingredient in Mr. Knox's octane booster is the versatility. We can create multiple compounds from this, effectively shaping its use based on what we add to it. Oh, so? Well, for instance, if you were to require a, a flashier explosion, the Knox burns quite quickly and doesn't produce long-lasting flames. But if you were to add a, an adhesive or, or, or even a magnesium solution to the One less witness in here. What's this a key of? Okay. It's me. I just sent you the location for the next what gig. What the? I need you to be Hey, what are you doing? Where are your there. pants? Oh, you should be able to hold them. There'll be pirate pants strung up downstairs. Yeah, that could have that could have been bad really quickly. Okay, yep. Yeah.
want to make sure nobody comes in here. seems pretty much secured um oh, uh, hello hr yes it's finn wheeler down at the bayside center Hi. find him where did he go How you doing? Okay. Why not much for reruns, there Alice. Is. The bow was amusing, I suppose, but the poisoning isn't something I'd like to try again. Besides, they wouldn't send the same people twice. Got two guards well, again. The ICA an invite. Seeing as most of their top-tier agents have failed, they're bound to send him. Okay. If he even exists, you know, I'm beginning to wonder. Sure. We've all heard the stories. But that's all they've ever been. I hope he's real. Hello, sir. I hope he shows. I should very much like to meet him. Then we've had a good run. If I go by anyone's hand, I want it to belong to the best in the business. Simple as that. Good. Good. I'll see you later, Alice. Mr. Faber. Perhaps if we dilute the ink inside the pen with VX This is what I've been waiting for. <laughs> Well, hopefully he's finally dead. Target eliminated. Hopefully, this will be the last time we have to deal with Mr. Faber. The money hopefully. is being transferred now, 47. Time to find an exit. This pivotal moment in modern conflict solution. Imagine infiltrating. Okay, we got rid of it. We did it. Uh, I play a lot of Hitman Freelancer. I haven't done a lot of an elusive target in a long time. I don't think I'm getting Silent Assassin because that guy that, I, that saw me that I um, knocked out at the start, but it's um. It is what it is. It's my first attempt. I'm gonna get rid of the security footage. Don't want a trace of us being here. Okay, so... Security footage. <clears throat> okay, now 
Where did I come from? Uh, from the other staircase. Okay, yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, it's this staircase. Okay. Cameras are down. We don't gotta worry about that anymore. Yeah, so that was, um, I would say, a bit of a fun contract to do. Um, I do eventually want to make a series on Hitman again. I think this November, I think we'll do a series on Hitman again, this November. Uh, because November, I think, is going to be the anniversary of Hitman. And so we'll do an entire series playing through the games. If you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like. If you want to see more Hitman videos, let me know in the comments down below. Shadow ICA Assassin. Okay, so I didn't get, um, you know, Silent Assassin, but I still did pretty well, right? Um, uh, okay. Okay, yep, so that is it. I don't, is there a cutscene afterwards? I don't think there's a cutscene after, uh, uh, I don't think there is. And, uh, Eliminated. Uh, yeah, so you can't, apparently you can't do it again. Um. Okay, yeah, so you can apparently do these, uh, these levels here. But the, the actual elusive target with the eye patch, you can only do one time. Okay, so we did it. So, um, the next elusive target, if you guys really want me to do the next elusive target, I'll also do it on here. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like, and I'll see you on the next hit, uh, next video. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.